All right, Shalom. Oh, oh, yeah. We're going to break through on uh, Hebrew if, if you like. Uh, GMS and Wallace Tim come at you again. Hey, the preacher's soup gospel going to the Bible. All right. Now, before we get started, we're going to give our phrases. See yeah. how we're going to talk about the truth. We're going to talk about the GMS. We're going to the truth. And peace and mercy to all the elect. That's doing the world. I'm going to watch the mouth shine. So, let's do that. All right. Now, hey, every time we out here, hey, what's the main thing we're going into? What's the main thing we talk about? Going to the Bible. And there's the Lord. We can come back, man. All right. So, there are a lot of people who had these questions. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when is the Lord coming back? Or when it's gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what's gonna happen when you do come back? What are you gonna look like, man? All right, you, you, you gonna get pointed to the scripture. What's gonna happen, man? All right, go ahead. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 36. It says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angel of heaven, but my father only. Basically, hey, hey, nobody don't have, like, it's not a specific date or time that, hey, we're we going to know that the Lord, our Lord coming back, you know? You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, a lot of people think, oh, it's going to come in the latter time, latter end, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, but us, you know, hopefully, like, hey, we know that time is coming closer, man. All right, because, hey, we're going to get that thing back tomorrow. The book of 2nd Exodus, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the sign fast, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, that's how we know that the Lord is coming back soon as we think. All right, because hey, we see these prophecies coming to pass. All right, hey, we measure hey, uh, everything that's going on in the news. We refer to it through the scriptures, man. That, hey, that's telling us, hey, that, uh, that, that uh, the departure is coming to pass, man. All right, so like. Water. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. I want to say, and you can see that right now, man. See, race wars going all throughout the country, man. It's coming here. You know what I'm saying? That's how we know we're in that time. That's another sign that he does know that God's not on his way back, man. Right, that's what he say. He say, It says, but as the day of Noah were, so shall also the, the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that they were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Yeah, so they say, as, as, a, as we in this time right now, it's exactly like the time that it is the days of Noah. Where everybody was just peaceful, you know, just they having a the care position, you know, what it was they like, what they was doing. You know, not worry about it, uh, the judgment about the judgment about the past, from the Lord. You know? It says, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah. So basically, as, as uh, that flood that came upon the people, unaware, and the same thing over this flood, which ain't going to give them nothing. They destroyed this place, ain't going to come upon them unaware. As they, they say, as they see like peace and safety, you know, as like they in their comfort zone and this and that. With their, hey, once the structure happens, all these prophecies come to pass. You know, the evil times, hey, they're gonna come upon these people unaware. You know. This is a book of Amos chapter five, verse eighteen. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. Book of Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. 
and it said one two that is out of the deal because a lot of people just think that one was gonna come back in peace or he gonna uh, give out roses you know saying hugs and kisses and all that but not knowing yeah but not knowing that hey the law is coming back with his or something man he's coming back hey put people a lot of people to death you know what i'm saying stuff he's uh he's gonna be late you know what i'm saying it's the book of Romans, chapter 13, and verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is not, it is high time to wake out of sleep, but now. Is our salvation nearer than when we believe? Yeah, basically, like it's saying like, hey, now that us we seen these prophets come to pass, hey, we gotta, hey, you know, be on high alert. You know, we gotta be in the hands of them at all times. You know what I'm saying? Cause hey, it's coming closer than we think. You know, that's how hey, I teach the salvation by watching these signs come to pass. You know. Verse twelve it, it reads, "The night is far spent; the day is at hand." Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah, so then, hey, as they, uh, the darkness, you know, the evil times coming to pass, they've got to have that armor, the light, the party. You know, that's, uh, that's going to protect us in that time to come. You know what I'm saying? This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, it's chapter 5, verse 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, we have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfect. That the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah. All day it said that hey, the Lord will come back as deep in the night because hey, that's gonna come upon these people other ways. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what's the hey, what's the what uh, main thief when it comes out at night? When people are asleep or they not there or this and that, well hey, well they not there, you know what I'm saying? So that's how the Lord gonna come back. When these people ain't hey, not looking, you know, they in their comfort zone, you know, just lax and dead, you know what I'm saying? And that's when the Lord will come back. Say something. Panic him around, like even though you know they all about partying and bullshit. Look at look at this, look at the spirit they in. Even though it's so called Christmas time, look at this it's day. Look at nothing going on. Then they put the lights. I'm surprised they didn't put the big the big belt symbol up over here on the on the on the balcony right here, man. Probably can't afford it this year, you know. But, it, but it's, it's day. You know when we was coming up. You see niggas, niggas are skipping down the street. Merry Christmas, bro. Merry Christmas. Shopping and shit. You don't ain't see that much going on, man. Right? Because the Lord, the Lord is really putting the devil on the place where it's, everything is just shut down, closed. Right? Around this time, you niggas would be fighting over tickle me elbows right now, man. I'm talking about elbow dropping a nigga in the stove. <laughs> TVs. What's so special about it? Niggas get TVs every year. You know what that shit? Like, what the fuck going on on the TV, man? But now it's dead. You know? What you about to say, though? They said it's the worst Black Friday ever. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. They did, they, you know, they did say that uh, for uh, this year. It was, it was the most dead, deadest Black Friday ever was, man. You motherfuckers broke. You ain't got no money. All right? Okay. You seen the you seen the videos back when we were coming up. This is a mob of people. What Caesar doing, man? <laughs> Caesar Bojir. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Well, I say that's another that's another sign that hey, uh, this world's coming to end. That hey, the, you know the follies, you know what I'm saying, the joy of this uh, the spirit of this of the earth. It hey, is hey, it's dying down. You know what I'm saying? Nah, this is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 24, verse 10. It says, The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There's a crying for wine in the streets. All the joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Yeah, the city of that confusion, that's talking about America. All right? Because, hey, it's Babal. It's confusion. There's no more confusion that's going in America. You know what I'm saying? It's being broken down. Hey, by hey, the prophets, you know, speaking on their down, on their downfall. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's say hey, they crying for the wine in the streets. Cause hey, they they crying for that uh, all that folly, all the festivities. 
you know, that's going on in America. They crying for that because it's going to be over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm on that. Let me start up on that. It's Isaiah 24 7. It says, The new wine morning and the vine languish it, all the merry hearted do sigh. The mirth of the tavern ceases, the noise of them that rejoice ended, the joy of the harp ceases. I'm trying to read that again. That's, that goes along with what I was saying. As you can see, pan the camera around and read that scripture as you pan in the camera around. Oh, slow, man. Kyle. No, because the, the, the side of the murk, read, read it, read it, he good The new wine morning, the vine languish it, all the merry hearted do side. Yeah, and one time he was the most merry hearted people there was, man. Right when America was in its height, right when things were thriving, all right, they was merry hearted, but now they, they signed, man. All right? Bitch, I ain't got nothing. You got something? <laughs> niggas, niggas begging for rice, man. You know? Niggas taking out loans and shit. No, Come on, man. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Read it. Keep, keep reading some more now. Now, this verse 8, it says, The mirth of the tavern ceased, the noise of them that rejoice ended. The noise of them that rejoice have ended, man. And we see it. All right? All right, this place was at one time. Especially that we always go into uh, this particular street. When we was coming up, you had stores on every fucking corner. You had Arabs selling all type of shit, man. French fried rice. They were selling French fried rice. They were selling tennis shoes. You name it, man. It's really on this street. There's only one, one of the really three original stores now. That's that's uh sports plus Rubenstein. I believe one more particular store that escaped me. Down down the street. Everything else is new or it's fake, man. Right on. Yeah, it's fake. This so-called canal street ain't what it what it used to be, man. Right? Especially since the uh this inflation, shrinkflation and all these other things didn't hit, man. This ain't the, the Hey, like I heard the one of your brother talking, I don't even come down there. Like that brother saying, I don't even come down this fucking street besides standing. I'm crossing over this mother. I don't stop and, and, and get up and walk down the street with these niggas, man. No. I don't come down here and shop. Really, I don't even go to the malls out here. This shit dead, man. You know, I shop on the internet both times. You know, huh? And all this goddamn shit down here fake and overpriced, man. You know, we call them what, Air Force One, Air Force One supposed to be about what, 80 bucks? They can charge you 150 down here. Come on, man. Go ahead. Verse, verse 8, it says, the joy of the heart ceases. They shall not drink wine with the soul. Uh -huh. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Strong drink shall be bitter to them. And we've seen it. At one time, at the height of the play, you see a drunk motherfucker all day, staggering, wobbling, freaked out, man. You only hold it to that no more. All you see now is a, is a bunch of a bunch of gutter punks, all right, freaks, and, and people that just tourists, man. Even the tourists ain't drunk no more. You just see tourists drunk all goddamn day on the original New Orleans before the C19. Now there's some whole other shit going on out here. Right? Just the, just the, uh, what up, all? What up, baby? All right. Boy, <laughs> man. And the Lord just made him appear, man. No, go ahead. You got, you got, go ahead, brother. Right. Verse 10, it says, yes, The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And that's how things are going to get. That every house is going to be shut up. Because why, how most time all these houses gonna be shut up through foreclosures, man. And, then, and like I say, just about three days ago, they already came out with another article saying, uh, especially down here, repossessions at an all time high. Um, uh, bankruptcy and it, 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 just mortgaging people's houses off, man. You about to say something? Yes. Uh, 
nationwide, you know, car repossessions are at an all-time high. People can't pay those notes anymore, so those yeah. cars are getting repossessed. But them goddamn ragged-ass scat packs you niggas got, them scat packs, them Daytonas, them, them bullshit Hellcats, you niggas come and get them shits, man. All right? The track hockeys, they coming to get them bitches, man. And you niggas hide them in grandma, oh, shit, any goddamn way, running from the repo, man. All right? Yeah, no, I did a ride and tell on that uh, riot that was held in Malcolm and put in that 60% of Americans had uh, uh, 60 days behind their car payment. Yeah. So if you behind one payment, you behind, you behind another payment. Hey, you go. Hey, there you go. Other shit suffering too. Go ahead. That's getting to the point where you got multiple people complaining on social media. It's like either I stop paying my insurance or to get food. I gotta stop paying my car note to get food. I can't pay all my bills anymore. I gotta start dropping shit. Most of those people are women. Mm -hmm. A lot of those people are women. Yeah, I like, did it. Yeah, did it. yeah a lot of these. Yeah, a lot of more women. Cause women go out here and get women. Women they work at goddamn Walmart. All right, and, and uh, fucking Wendy's, but they go get a three hundred, three hundred forty thousand dollar house, man. No one can't pay that shit. You go into the some of these broads, you go up in their house. There's nothing in the house. There's no furniture. It's just a it's just a blow up bed now, all right. An air mattress. It's a it's a mannequin with some with a wig on it that's crooked, <laughs> all right. And one of them little bullets. Yeah, and one of them bullets in there, man. Rose. They need huh? two proud to have a man help them in the house because yeah. they're independent. Remember? And the right. grass is high. They're independent. Right. The grass is high. The dishes are <laughs> fucked up, man. And that goddamn smoke detector. Yeah. Smoke the wall, man. Yeah, right, see, all you, all you bros out there doing this, putting that, sticking that tape and that teeth and that phone up there to shake your ass, but nobody changed the battery to the goddamn fuel detector yet, man. <laughs> so you can get up there, but you can get up there for the wrong goddamn reasons, man. Goddamn hoes crazy, man. Come on, brother. You can get down something. What you doing? I ain't doing nothing to swear it man. Everybody in there with a bro like that. What the fuck is this shit, man? Huh? Go ahead, y'all. Go ahead, bro. Verse 12. It says, in the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. Yeah, and that's what's going to happen, man. All that you see is going to be smitten with destruction. These stores going to be ransacked, burnt up, all right, torn to pieces, man. All right? When society truly collapsed. This society is going, it's done. We can stick a fuck in this shit. We on our last days. The last days are going to work. The last days are coming on the block. The last days of every fucking thing, man. All right? So have it your way. You better get all of the so-called Christmas in. All right? The New Year's under the mistletoe with the boo. All that. Get your last kiss when the, when the ball drops, man. We waiting for the we ain't we waiting for the missile to drop in this bitch, all right? Now I hope these devils really do do their goddamn thing coming into 2024. Go ahead, uh. go ahead, you got it. I just want to yeah, say that, man. It's Second Ezra, chapter eight and fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, talk about, hey, the people of this world, you know, right? Hey, hey two thirds of our people in these heathens, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, because they walk in great pride. They think, oh, just because they got all, you know, the the material things of this world, you know what I'm saying? They think they good, you know, they living good. You know what I'm saying? But soon, hey, the Lord's going hey, you know, about to start bringing tribulation upon them, man. You know what I'm saying? They about to lose everything, you know, everything about to be burned up. And them too, man. That's it? Uh, yeah, that's it. This Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Remember now, thy creator, in the days of thy youth. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now, thy creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah. See, hey, uh, you got to seek the Lord while you got time, man. You know, for hey, Lord, hey, bring forth wrath upon, the, upon America, man. All right? Cause hey, you can't just uh, live in pleasures, you know, all this time, man. Cause soon hey, it's gonna be over with. You know what I'm saying? It says she that living in pleasures dead yeah. while she living, and America is a place of pleasure. All these other 
people foreign these foreigners want to come here so they can be free they can have some type of freedom they can deal with uh, uh democracy you know feel free where they well whatever type of peril they want all right that's pleasure okay but the lord is closing the pleasure everywhere all right this place is being what closed down it's the lord came in and in well you got it bro the book of Sirach, chapter 18 and verse 32. Take not pleasure in much good cheer. Needs to be tied to the expense thereof. Yeah, hey, and, and what's the nickname for this place? The Big Easy, you know? <laughs> yeah, and it's looking like the, the, the Big Hard right now, you know? This is the it's, place of bread and circus, man. That's this is right. the place of all our bullshit. It is, compared to other cities, you got a, you got a, football, a so-called major football team. You got a, a low-budget basketball team. Most times, they, they, you, you want to live in a city that got the big three. Baseball, basketball, football. You got two of them, but still, the wages down here are down there seven dollars, eight dollars, minimum wage. Bro, the bulk of the people that go to the the, the Saints game are not originally from here. They're from Mississippi, Alabama, right? And the people that see don't do. It. I, I didn't see niggas go. Yeah, I, I didn't see niggas here go to the Saints game. But guess what? When they go back home, if they open that door, put their key in the door. They're Girl, you see them hit that lighter and light them, light them goddamn candles, man. <laughs> niggas, the lights off. But he got season tickets, though. Losing or winning. That's how pro dog Jake is, man. And every Sunday, they go on to the goddamn second line on the bridge, hoping not to get shot. You know? It's a, it's a wild life to live down here, man. Niggas ain't eat. Niggas ain't doing a damn thing. Niggas out here hungry, man. So this, is, this is really... A third world country down here. It's lawless. Everybody run the red light, stop sign, after the goddamn lights off. You don't see the police, but down here. Yeah. Then they show you old video. They show you old video, a, a pre recorded video of the mayor swearing in a new cop. There ain't no cops down here, though, man. And they got these guys. No. I don't know who them niggas, they don't do nothing. You know? The police don't do nothing. They sitting right there, niggas selling big dope. Yeah. Right here, on the corner, niggas selling dope, man. You go on the highways out here, the lights are off. Potholes. It's crazy. You like tonight, when tonight comes, uh, 11, 12 o'clock, Susan Waterford already say, be expecting high levels of rain and, and definitely flooding. Turbine three and turbine five is off. Well, you better get your goddamn swimming trunk together. Cause this don't go down. All right. That's that's what happens, man. But this is remember, this is a so-called prominent city. This don't happen nowhere else, man. But here. Like they that. They got the camera. Yeah, they, they're charging. They're they they're 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 they charge that. They charge that. They charge that bill too. Taxes just, just for reading the F, man. Right? Ah, what the hell's going on? Hey, and up in New York, they also, you know, just, you know, they, they went back into the Appellate Court, which just passed a bill two one three, which is where they can, you know, detain you against your will if you got a. a a B, you got a B, and the health, the health people think you're a, a threat to society. They can illegally, legally now detain you. you can just, like, just like that other, that other bill they passed, the Sandy, the Sandy Plan, the girl that died in Texas. They passed a Sandy Plan bill, but if they, if they consider you or deem you crazy, or just like us, what we do, they can just come snatch us up. No due process, 
Mama and them ain't going to never see you, man. What is that crazy? He believes in, he believes in chariots. He believes the Lord in the back. He believes in the Bible. He'll become snatch man. It's called a Sandy Blaine Act. Go look it up. And we deem on the list for it, man. Yes. I'll probably put you in one of those two five jackets, all right, with the zippers, the Michael Jackson zippers, man, in a soft room. Go ahead. Back up on uh, Monica's thing, this nigga is. It's uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the Break it down, brother. Break it down. But the just shall live by his faith. Yeah. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, matter of fact, I'm going to start at the top. Uh, this is Habakkuk 2 and 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. Yeah, we stand upon that watch right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, watch not, hey, for hey, the sign of these prophecies will come to pass. Because that let us know, hey, our Lord is on his way back. As I said again. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read it. Yeah, what is that vision? You know, these prophecies. You know, these, uh, hey, uh, these evil times that we speak about. According to the Bible. Mm -hmm. They say, yeah, basically all uh, these prophecies that we speak about according to the Bible. So that's that vision. They're writing upon plain for the for elect. They to read and repent. You know what I'm saying? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Yeah, this come for a time. These prophecies that about to come to pass will come, you know, in a set time. You know, long will. You know what I'm saying? And basically, yeah, even though yeah, you're thinking like it's taking long, but like, for the worldly people, but yeah, in the, the day it's coming closer than you think by seeing these signs. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, it's gonna come either way it goes. You know what I'm saying? And like the Lord's not gonna stop nothing. You know, just because you don't believe or not, hey, it's still gonna come. Point eight, Romans three and two. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. That's my Esau. You know what I'm saying? Hey, his soul is not upright in him. You know, he's the void of wickedness. He can't get right. You know, but hey, the judge is talking about hey, the free We're going to live by faith. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep believing in y'all by Shemount Shah until he delivers us out of here. I'm willing. What up, what up, what up? All right. All right. Yea, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death. Yeah. Esau can't get enough. You know, you gotta he continue, he continue, continue, uh, you know, with, commit wickedness to get what you want. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's Esau, man. He can't, he can't get enough. You know, even though he got like the he ruling the world right now, but yeah, he still can't rule right. You know what I'm saying? He make everything fake the fool. You know what I'm saying? He making just hey unrighteous things, unrighteous, unrighteous stuff. Man. Like the brother said, he owns the world, and he still wants more. He wants your soul, right? That's why it tells you in Revelation 18, in Babylon the Great was found the souls of men. Because it's not enough for him to have the material riches of the world. He wants your desires. He wants you to think what he wants you to think. He is a proud man, neither keeping at home, who enlarges in his desire as hell, and is at death, and cannot be satisfied. But gathereth unto him all nations, and he been unto him all people. <laughs>
Do nothing with that, man. Niggas don't even know what they're doing with that eye, man. You niggas just, you niggas just got a gun. Right? He went to some rockhead pawn shop, right? Some degenerate backwoods cracking and, and let, let you get a, a goddamn gun or some shit you can stole. And I don't know what's the fuck up with you niggas shooting like this, man. I seen a nigga down here in the Southern War shooting a nigga. What's up with the hand and shooting like this? What's up with this shit? Oh, I don't, what the fuck, man? That's how they shoot on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. What the fuck is up with that shit, man? Thank you, John Wick. Uh, crackhead John Wick and shit, man. This is crazy. Wait, how you just can't, you just can't stand niggas, bro? Yeah. What you got stopped in for? God. It's uh first Thessalonians chapter five and verse three. It reads for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That's right. When they shall say peace and safety, meaning uh when they say, you know, they comfortable. With the, uh, this so called lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And then both, sudden destruction. With they, uh, these evil times. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, yeah, like, if you don't have the law with you, you're not going to escape that. You know, you're going to continue, you're going to be judged. You know what I'm saying? Just like, hey, a woman, when she's pregnant, she can't uh, avoid those pains that you're going through. You know? So, same thing with these people. Like, they can't, uh, they're not going to escape uh, from being destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Verse 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of light, and the children of the day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. Yeah, like I said, verse 4, we're not of darkness. Man, we ain't going to tell where darkness means ignorant. We're not ignorant, ignorant, ignorant of what's going on in the world, man. All right, but yeah, we the children of light. I mean, we, we got this, uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yeah, we know what's going on as far as righteousness, and we know what's going on in, in, in this dark, wicked world, man. All right, we clearly know, all right, that Satan, all right, the spirit of demon Satan has had this, this place seduced, right, with his minions, man. The elite bankers, the, 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 the big wigs of the society, they have all these people on the, on the a spell, man. You know, so much we, we can see it. You know, if we, we understand what the Jesus say, 
Yeah, uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities. We see it. We see you niggas go, oh, 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 come over there, fuck with you, yeah. doing and trying to get you to do and say shit. Like, go ahead. But you can see it. The vibration that a lot of you niggas is under, man. Uh, what do you call? Even with some guys, the truth, them, them enchantments. You see some guys, one minute you are teaching sound doctrine, and then with a flick of a finger, you just go totally off on some other shit, man. Bugged out. And be bugged out. And then you have multiple people telling you, hey, brother, hey, 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 brother, come out of this. That's it's not right. No, I'm right. Everybody else. Everybody else wrong, man. That's, that's a that's a, that's a, uh, a, 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 a satanic spirit to be under, man. That's an SID people are. You try to snap them out of that, hey, hey. That's the Howard shot and die, the Lord and die for everybody. Hey, they, you know, Joseph slept with Mary. They don't want they want to stay asleep. It's like it's like really the matrix. You know, boy ate this, your boy said, look, man, I'm ready to I know this thing ain't real. Yeah, I know this thing ain't real. I'm ready to unplug and go back in the matrix, man. I know it ain't real. What your boy say? I know the purpose. I know the purpose it's was fake, fake, but he still ate that bread. I'm a gremlin. I'm a gremlin. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, that's how these people are, man. They know. A lot of, a lot of motherfuckers they know. They enchanted. They know what's going on, but they still want to be asleep. I got you something. Wait, well, like you got it. It's numbers 23 and 23. Yeah, 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 yeah. Surely there's no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. And so the brothers that are awake, I, I'll break it down. The brothers that are awake. There's no enchantment against us, man. We can't be seduced by the first and foremost for it, all right, for the music. We not we're not we're not sedated. We are we're not enchanted by the music, man. Oh, here's the one. Here's the one. That's the spirit. He ain't gonna do nothing. He ain't gonna do nothing. I love you too, like I love myself. He been here before. He enchanted. That's that's the story. He been here before. He got the voodoo shirt on, man. Look at the spirits in his hands. Yeah, yeah. It don't matter what I put on, like I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord don't play around. Call all your how about your shot, man. Yeah, call like y'all like, about shit. The worst don't really The Lord brings the example every time. The worst don't really hurt. No one yeah. hurt. When the people be like that. Come on, man. He ain't chanting. No, he ain't chanting. He got a ball that's seeking his sin. That's that talking. That's talking about that. That's talking about that. Let him cut off. I'm a real villain, a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> they got a shirt. Come on, man. Let him say that. Sell the shirt in the army like you talking about. Oh, Lord, cool. Yeah. Sell the shirt for him. Say the Bible. Yeah. Ain't he got the dollar flipped on the pyramid? Yeah. Show the Bible. This is what we're talking about, man. Who we give the Bible? Let him, let him. Yeah. Say, you want no life? Let him do it. Oh, no way you know life after you greet life. <laughs> How on. you greet life? <laughs> How you greet life? <laughs> hey, what that mean? <laughs> Jake, 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 Jake. Like I thought he did something. Yeah, man. Yeah, he ain't gonna do nothing. He ain't gonna do nothing. They come with that bullshit. Yeah. We gonna smoke him off the bone. We gonna smoke you off the bone. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. I got, I got one cook. Come on, man. That's what I gotta blow you off. Blow. Oh, that's, that's what he mean by he gonna eat the eye. That's what he gonna, gonna eat the eye. Yeah. That's an inside joke. Make sure you say that's an inside joke. Oh, the inside joke. <laughs> hey, you try to read that's 2 like Corinthians like chapter like 2 and verse 11. I like this. Satan should get an advantage of us. Like a million. We are not ignorant. Fuck the thing. They don't want to fight with me. I'm true. Satan's not ignorant. Satan the vices. They don't want to fight with these demons out here. Right, so they even got the word of the Lord. Well, we uh, get to combat that. Hey, how about you? I got a, I got a, um, hey, it's like, it's like, happy birthday, yeah, yeah. happy new year. Oh, it's in an online the word device. Oh, make when I was born, like I and it reads, and in intent, right here, it says, it's express it's intent like or desire like a, a plan, a plan a or design. I'm still in the fucking hey, day.
Let's go in Tampa to get Jake Roboto, man. The definition to device going to a plan, right? Satan's so plan up, is for the what to draw us out to uh, get to uh, a corner, yeah. yeah, yeah you want us to get carnal, yeah. But it's gonna say, Where was our walk on that corner, man? This shit really funny to me. This is funny. This is funny. funny. This is an average Jake. This is a, this Jake. Regular, this, this is the average nigga down here, bro. Yeah. Act the same way. And it, he got a lunatic spirit. He got a lunatic spirit. Yeah. yeah. And his demon just run. Just no, 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 no. That's what I'm with. Look, you heard what he said? Thank you for knowing. Knowing. When you say the demon taking over. Yeah. The demon knew. We're not ignorant to say the Bible. Paul, I know y'all. Look, 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 look. That boy hit the bar there. <laughs> look at this. Bro, man. Can't make this look. Bro. The demon ain't getting. We was on that. We was on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Lord just let him come up. Him come give up. example. Look, man, he's going to hell. The demon ain't him, brother. Yeah. The demon ain't his eye. Look. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. Straight up, head up. Say, I believe in one God's spirit. Ain't no man on this work, ain't God. Come on, man. Because I walk through the trees, too. <clears throat> Life goes on, Papa. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 11. Yes, it says, put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. <laughs> oh, he hit the coat, look. Somebody gone. Yeah, he's the car. He didn't. He did like this. Oh, the demon untouchable. Now he, he finally consumed. He <laughs> consumed. It's Ephesians chapter six, verse eleven. I start at ten. It says, "Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." Yeah. Once well, we got a hedge of the Lord. No, we got this word where we can combat these demons out here, man. Like, that's what we got to deal with when we out here, man. We got to deal with spirit of niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Verse 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Yeah, like Jake right there, he's a least of our world, man. We got to battle uh, principalities and powers, man. We got to battle the keys of this world. No, he's a B side problem, man. Like, he, like you said, it's funny. No, Jake, funny, man. No, go ahead. It says against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah, the spirit of wickedness. You know that was a demon. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get hey, guess at corner. You know, trying to get act 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 out of our character. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we just let get, let Jake be Jake. You know what I'm saying? Let let like him say uh, let him he that ignorant and let him be ignorant still. Hey, it's a lot of these cats. It is a waste of time dealing with. Them. Talking with him, engaging with him, it's just a waste of time, you know. That's why you kind of just, you kind of just zone them out, and you talk amongst yourself, let them say what the fuck they're going to say, you know. It's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4, now uh, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yeah. But well, I say the weapon I know is not carnal. You know what I'm saying? Well, we don't got no like guns, no weapons, no upon us. Well, hey, we, we out here. You know what I'm saying? We got the, hey, the heads of the Lord, which is more powerful than that. You know what I'm saying? It reads, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah, by, hey, by us having that protection of having the Lord with us. You know what I'm saying? We able to, hey, uh, hey battle these things, man. You know what I'm saying? By, hey, uh, these demons, you know, Satan. You know what I'm saying? It also ate uh you know, Esau eat him, man. It's uh his his and his uh device. You know what I'm saying? Got one more one more verse. Yeah, it's casting down imagination in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of a Yeah, I mean, hey, no matter what, hey, you can't come and get this thing against this thing. And this is the main, and also this is the main stronghold that we tearing down right here. Caesar bullshit, right? This this got everybody in the stronghold right here, man. I don't give a fuck if they if they so called Christian, 
all right, so-called street niggas, uh, uh, Latin, whatever the fuck. They, this is the main stronghold. You got you got the roughest, toughest niggas in the cartel, all right, killing, be doing all types of shit to each other. As soon as it's time to pray, them niggas do like this. They, they get in, they get in. We see it every morning. They oh, get in, yeah. You know, the, the, the hardest niggas down here. Like him, he's been hooping and hollering as soon as, as soon as the Bible come out. That's what they do. That's what they do down here, man. The Israelites, they just left out Israelites. You know? But this is the main stronghold that, that we are set for to tear down. Caesar Borgia. All right? Because every, every time we, we, we reveal true what he saw doing try to try to hide him man that's why they got they got that's why they got them youtube squads out trying to you know tear down brothers videos delete them delete pages now they got a new thing if you don't if you don't if you're not posting a particular video a volume of videos or you're putting too many videos on youtube now they're talking about deleting your page man if you don't access your page in a, in a, in a particular time frame deleting your page you know that's why i said we're in a time frame of the, the, the famine and the word happening we're not going to be doing this too long. The whole YouTube thing, the whole coming out thing, you know? And like I said, you can see everything is running parallel to the day of the Lord. Watch this, fuck. This, this guy's a cop, man. That's a police, man. You heard me? That nigga's a police, man. You can see it. He, he just, he just, he law enforcement like a motherfucker, man. You know, go ahead, brother. Just watch it. It's Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yeah. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Yeah, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yeah. All right, this is the only guy that, that can go all around the world and do what? Push democracy, man. All right? This is the only guy that tells the whole world they have to get on get on a vibration speaking English. Wearing a tie, wearing a suit. All right? That, hey, I'm the God, I'm I'm the Lord's people, and everybody else is just going and Gentiles. All right, this is the only nigga that does this shit, man. You don't see the China man. Everybody being a China man. You don't see nobody. You don't see nobody. You don't see the China man going around pushing that shit, man. You don't see Lottie Dottie going around doing that shit. All right, the fishermen like there nobody but the so-called white man does this, man. You shouldn't be using. This much in carbon footprint. You using too much water. You're breathing too much air. We got the tax shit. Nobody does that but the so-called white man. All right. Go ahead, huh? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And the main judge, and the main judge is that he covered it with who? First and foremost, how was shot? He put this fucking devil up. This blind, blue hair, stringy hair devil up. Said that was the Lord. Then he did what? He went on a he went on a he went on a world tour all throughout the Russias, Poland, Scotland, all throughout the European nations doing what? Covering up the, the black faces, man. Even in Egypt. This nigga went out, I've seen videos of this nigga got a goddamn mustard gun shooting the noses off of the black statues, man. Got a got a, a nail and a and a hammer chiseling the noses and the faces off the of the images, man. But uh, that's my great nephew. That's my great uncle right there, though, man. He was, he was white. Come out of here, man. The whole, the whole known world back then was a people of color, but you. Right? And our history goes far past Africa, man. Right? Hey, hey. Go ahead, huh? Cover up the faces of the judges thereof.
But the Lord asked the Lord asked the uh, uh, question, man. Where and where and who is he, man? Right? Because we always go through this, we always go through the list. There's nobody else ruling the earth. There's nobody else that have history of uh plagiarism, history of uh, actual uh, whitewashing images, man. The Arabs didn't do it, the Chinese didn't do it, the uh, Elamites didn't do it, the original Russians, the original Jephites. They didn't do it. There's only one nation that went on a, went on a world tour of wickedness, man. It's still on, still on the, on the last couple of uh, uh, tours of wickedness, man. You did it, Esau, so-called white man. And you hate that we we, we uh shine a light on the, on the shit, all right? Wait, I'm... Yeah, that's why the scripture says, "If not, where is it?" Like the elder was saying, man. This is a rhetorical question, but. Really, by process of elimination, only the so-called white man can be the devil, all right? There's nobody that's had dominion over the earth, and there's no one that was promised to have dominion other than Jacob, who was going to have it in righteousness, and Esau, who was going to take it by the sword. So who took vengeance? Who took peace from the earth with the sword, man? The so-called white man. Yeah. It tell you that uh, in the first Maccabees, the first chapter, yeah, it tell you. First Maccabees, the first chapter, starting around the seventh verse, it tell you how the devil uh really the, the reign of the bullshit. Alright? When they went when they went from all those carcasses and when they was when they were them niggas running around like this, brother. On all on all fours, like this. <laughs> That's how they was running. The devil went from doing that, <laughs> scratching each other head and shit. Praying, you know, doing that shit, man. Then them devils, them devils started to them, them legs at the bend got up on all four, all twos, man. Then them niggas went, them niggas came out the mountains and did what? Set up what we know as the, as the, uh, the Renaissance, man. Went all the funny clothes, and they went on a tear. So much, so much, that it, even when you go into the Maccabees, you say that uh, wickedness begins to uh, reign on earth, man. Yeah? And these, these niggas, they're the author of all wickedness, man. You got it real fast? I'm going to give it back to them. got it right here. It's First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. Yeah, Alexander the Great, which is one of the, the Edomites, the so-called white people, was one of their foreparents, man. And they always do it, right? I've worked around a lot of them. They have John F. Kennedy, all right, General Lee. Alpha Pipe and they'll have they'll have Alexander the Great right there, man. Because why? Why why do Edomites love Alexander the Great? Because of the history of him being a conqueror. That's what these devils are. They're, they're a number of the great conquerors of the earth, man. Pillaging, stealing, and rape, robbing, and murdering, man. Colonizing shit. That's what he was. And he was a freak to boot, too. Alright? <laughs> man, that devil does get down, man. Alright? He'll make, he'll make section rain look like a good dream. Go ahead, bro. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Alexander the Great. I'm just freaks, man. Orgies, you name it, man. And you you know they, you know they had P. Diddy up in there with him. Right along with uh, the White Howard, man. Them niggas is up there with them, man. They, I mean, this is wrong. They're, they're with him now in this room, man. So you know they was back then freaking out. Take that, take that. Doing all that Harlem shaking shit, man. <laughs> In the yeah. Go ahead, huh? Verse 8. Something's going on. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. All right, go ahead. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. And that was what more, nothing more than the four generals that was under uh, Alexander. This is history that was that just played out in the Bible, telling you what happened. Really? It's so much of it. It's so much. It's so cold. The Lord spoke about them getting the power before they was even born, before they even thought about. It. And them dudes came in, in place, single handedly came into place. And then what happened after they came into place? They went on to tell what murder, murder, and assassinating one another, man. So much when you read it, you read about them and their sons. Some of them ain't, ain't, ain't ruled for a week, a month, two months, two years, a year. But it was they were taking each other out, poisoning. Assassinations, you name it, man. Well, it reads, 
and evils will multiply in the earth. And that's the point. He said when, when the baby, when them devils came into power, a multitude of evils multiplied in the earth, man. Because what they did, they, they brought that same spirit to the world. Really, that, that Alex the Corley spirit was back then, man, doing as thou will. And that's why you see Jacob in that vibration, man, doing as they will. Niggas getting bald heads, niggas freaking on, on these pumps, you know? All our, all our wicked, not, not a whole, not other nations are into it, man. And they come over here to this session to so-called be free, let loose, you know? And it's a, really, it's all nations. Come on, man. When you when you're an Israelite, you don't you come over here to let loose, man. You don't hold those those uh, particular those values that you want to hold back at home, man. Especially the women. Especially the women, man. The women, even come they come down here, they come down here, they get they go go in these little clubs, these free clubs down here in the French Quarter. They they got they got those those cups. They look like a rod, man. But she's an Israelite, a Edomite. They, they break the cup with the rod on them. You go through that shit. Yeah, yeah. What's in the goddamn head back at home, man? You Elon might pump men. The men over here pumping, man. You know? But that's what's going on. Go ahead, huh? That was it? Yeah, yeah that was it. No, no, no. Go ahead, huh? Go ahead. Uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 10. Verse 2, it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Yeah, basically, like, yeah, it's the plan right there. You get a wicked ruler, hey, uh, everybody will be wicked. You know, the servants will be wicked, man. It's like, hey, if you have a righteous ruler, hey, yeah, everything will be righteous on earth, man. That's why the scripture say, hey, with a wicked bear rule, hey, people mourn. Oh, with righteous bear rule, hey, they gonna, uh, they gonna be rejoicing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, hey, people in the morning state, as you can see, people in the morning state, because they see how weak this place is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's gotta come to the end. This nigga grinding everybody. That's why they call him the ham and the earth. He, he, he's grinding you, man. All right, through the food, through the water, through the things you see on TV, all of it is just grinding you down to mirror more to debt, man, to nothing. You look at a, a typical sitcom on TV now. They have what on? They got they got they got Transformers on there, man. The Skittle people, right? They then that went from back then. We'll watch a movie or a sitcom. You can you can guess who they had sex. Now they now they full blown having sex on on the, on, the, on the shit. Now a woman is showing her showing her showing the box. They got then they they showing the goddamn meat pills. Why, right, man? Yeah. Generous man. Well, I seen a, a fucking tampon uh, commercial. They up there with the whole shit on. You know what I'm saying? Back then you could guess what that was. Okay, I understand. My 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 comprehension is up to understand what's going on. Now it's just it's wild, man. You know? You got so-called uh heterosexual men voicing their opinions, giving up for the shit, you know? Go ahead, huh? It's a second Esther chapter 15 and verse 5. Behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Yeah, that's why hey, the Lord got destroyed this place, man. So America. Today is number of wickedness that's going on in America. You know what I'm saying? And what's going to happen? This way it be plagues, you know, death. What else you say over there? It says, plagues upon the world, the sword, sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of death, a lot of killing going on, man. The Lord's like, hey, but they bring this place to judgment, man. It's rapid, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, for the weakness, they're up. That's it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7. Verse 1, it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus said Jehovah, thy power, thus said Jehovah, thy power, unto the land of Israel, uh, and in 
the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. Yeah, the Lord's doing that right now, man. You know, hey, he judges this place hey, day by day, man. A lot of people ain't getting put to death. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's collapsing this place, man, economically. economically. You know what I'm saying? Just because, hey, the weakness they're up, man. And so ain't lost, but hey, uh, go fans this place out, hey, with those new good muscles. You know? If I could add, the end of something is a cutoff period. Because the Lord, he's the ancient of days, is a continuance with him. But he's about to replace the wickedness, the wicked with the righteous, to continue the righteous on, man. All right? The end of something is the cutoff. The, uh, the Lord have given this place bounds that it can't pass. That's the, that's what's about to happen. You're about to see the cutoff of the, of the wicked and the, and the reign of the righteous. Okay? Go ahead, brother. The book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings that's and it. injuries and got riches it. got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah, just because hey, the wickedness that's going on in America is hey, hey, the world. Hey, the power got to be translated, man. Kim got to get translated, man, to us. Because, hey, cause, hey we all righteous, man. Hey, we get those uh, laws that you command for in our era parts. Hey, those new body days, we're able uh, to rule in righteousness, you know? And the whole earth will be in righteousness again, man. Righteous order. And I, I'm not going to say this, too. I'm going to say this, too. It's not going to be like a waiting period. You know how, you know how they fire a coach? Or they fire a boss of the job? Well, we got to bring in the interim. We got we to gotta see who we're going to pick. No, it's going to be immediately us. Right, and then when we get into the wilderness, the Lord gonna the Lord gonna pick. The, you know, everything gonna be set straight then, man. Right? We already know who gonna, who gonna be the king, who the elect. Everything gonna be. It's not gonna be no waiting period, man. Uh, we gotta we gotta vote. Uh, maybe uh, you know, we can we can play dominoes for it. Maybe Russia. Nah, we already know. We read about it, man. See, even even back then in, in Genesis 25th chapter, you see, we're gonna be, you know, Jacob's gonna be set up. All right, before that, it was already uh predestined for us to rule, man. We ain't gonna wait on the goddamn thing, man. Well, let, let Esau lick his sores and his injuries, maybe he can come back, all right, like a goddamn boxing match or some shit, man. You know, we're gonna get the title. No, no, man, no, no, no. All right? You gotta stick to what's written, man. We him, man. We, we it's, it's, it's our time, man. Mm -hmm. We don't goddamn waiting. We've been waiting. Yeah, we've been waiting, man. Like the truth say, man, the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven shall come by violence, man. We're gonna take you double down, and we it's gonna be us ruling next, man. Yeah, I'm talking about immediate slavery, man. All right, immediate power. All right, dominion. All right, the straight setup. With the kingdom of Yashala, man. There's gonna be no goddamn wait. Hold up. Before y'all get the throne, we're gonna send out uh, Moab. This was. No, 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 man. No, it ain't gonna happen that way, man. The Lord ain't gonna wait for his seat either, man. He's been waiting 2,000 years. Yeah. What you talking about, man? Yeah, go ahead, though. Book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. The take, man. Yeah, please get that word. I want to see the word take say right there. Yeah, they ain't saying oh, they're going to beg for it. Yeah. They're going to say they're going to take it. Go take it. Yeah. This nigga yeah. took the kingdom. Yeah. This nigga took, these all took some shit, man. Yeah. This nigga ain't, ain't asked for life. Hey, all Native Americans, how are you? You okay? All right, look. Yeah. I'm going to need, oh, man, this nigga, this nigga is just killing shit. Ooh. Power. Ooh. Ooh. Nigga took shit, man. Burn shit down. Ravish shit. Plague shit. Yeah, plague in the fuck though, man. This nigga went crazy, man. So we we gonna get crazy and lit too. Yeah, like, yeah, we gonna say what they say. Keep on. Hey, you got more? Huh? They got more. They got more than huh. that thing. Huh. Daniel chapter seven, verse eighteen. But the saints of the Most High, who were the saints? All right, Psalms 50 and 5, all right, those that made a covenant, the Israelites. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever 
even forever and ever. Yes, who they will miss. They will miss Satan. Who they will miss Satan. Uh, other most high is the Israelites, man. Yeah. Hey, Negro is like Tealing Native Americans, man. Yeah. And it's the proof right there we are next. This rock 10 and 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, you will set up one that is profitable. Yeah, we are profitable, man. Hey, hey, we are set up, man. Hey, it was predestined. We were going to get the kingdom, man. And we are profitable because, hey, hey, we are the Lord's chosen people, man. We are righteous. You know what I'm saying? We are that holy people. You know? Yeah, we're going to be profitable for the earth because we're yeah, going to rule yeah. with the law, statutes, and commandments. We're not in the yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to keep the last Sabbath. We're going to take care of the animals the way they're supposed to be. We're going to take care of the heathen the way they're supposed to be. All right, with heavy feathers. Yeah. 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 We're not supposed to be walking around idle, man. Yeah, they tell you that description in the pocket. Because what is idle? I don't speak to you. Yeah, idle is fucking wickedness, man. This devil, and this devil, like I say, our, it was set up that way. Our foreparents didn't finish the job and let them run up in the mountains. Wait, when they're supposed to, they're supposed to straight take them out, man. But what happened? Iron is working wickedly. They thought of a master plan to come out as the rule of the world. Right? The pinky and brain effect, man. What do you what, what do you want to do, pinky? Take over the world. And the devil took over. He did it. Took over the world for a period of time. For a little season, man. Well, God damn it. All right? We on that same type of tip. But spiritually, though, the Lord sent us out to take over the world, man. And, and beyond that. Hey, we don't we don't feel niggas, man. They always thought about Jack and Esau up. When I was kicked on fire, we fanned in the smoke to try to get more, more flames to heat on it, man. We want them niggas talking about uh our eyes how far uh how burning. Master. We sick master. We sick master? Hell no. But you got a lot of niggas like that, though, man. Crying because Babylon gone. Nah, 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 we happy, man. We happy this bitch going, man. I'm just speaking on that. We, we happy, bro. Yeah, why well, we happy? Because, hey, we know we got a better life for us. Set for us, man. Because they the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Second Ezra, chapter 7, verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. And the beginning of the immortality for to come. It said, "Well, they are doomed. Wait, the look of destruction. When that happens, it's gonna be the end of Esau's kingdom. It's gonna be a star of our kingdom, Israelites, man. All right, and that's a bad plan. And the back there'll be more. Hey, get down. Second Ezra four twenty nine. The book of Second Ezra four and twenty nine. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown, pass not away. What's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, that place of evil, America. So they like, like we're going into it. America is going to most number of evil wickedness, man. All right. So that, that's that place, man. If that one passed not away, then what? You know what it? it reads, then cannot it come that is sown with good. And what's that place that's sown with good? You know, the kingdom of heaven, you know, the kingdom of Israel, man. Right, cause it's, it's gonna be uh, you know, real food back, righteous order back on the earth. You know, see, that's, that's the good part, man. You see what, what the brother's saying too. You can't have on this side of the world, Babylon the Great, all this shit still going. Then the Lord gonna set up the kingdom of heaven over here in the east, man. And these two worlds gonna be going on at the same time. No, one has to go. Two kings can't rule at the same time. You can't have Esau ruling and your ruling at the same time. Somebody gotta go, man. Right? And, and like I said, we know that like, Yahweh ain't gonna go nowhere, man. This this fucking devil, this, this so-called ruler, this time gotta go. This place gotta go, man. It doesn't make any sense. What the fuck is these Christians thinking about that? Oh, the kingdom come. All this all this gas, all this gay shit, all this other shit going on. It's gonna be going on at the same time, man. No. What have you what have you been thinking all your life, man? You know? Don't make no sense. I think everybody gonna come together. Every nation will come together. It's not gonna happen. Okay, Lord, they're not having self that way. You know what I'm saying? They got a precept too, but oh yeah, so we say back in that precept. Oh hey, oh, but I can't be established.
sit back playing. Yeah. This is uh, Revelation 11 and 15. And it says, And the seven angels sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Amashiach, and he shall reign forever and ever. Yeah, that precept basically we all going on, man. The saints shall take the kingdom. And will the Lord come back, come back in, uh, to take the kingdom, man. All right? It said the kingdom for the S. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that means they more bites, which is so-called, hey, Chinese people, they not up next. You know what I'm saying? It is a light, man. So, I mean, how much time, man? We up next. That's why, like I said, that's why in that same book it says, you how much I come back with many crops? Many crops. Oh, yeah, many crops. It's uh, Revelation chapter 19, and I'm going to start at 11. It reads, And I saw heaven open up, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Yeah, that white horse, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Y'all show it. Right, right. That's all the shit. That's all the shit. Yeah. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. Yeah, there's going to be war. Verse 12, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 8. A king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. He's not just going to stand by idly and have and a bunch of wickedness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just sitting there. The so called white man over here. Oh, that's his business. No, man. The, the earth is our business. We're the Israelites. This is our planet. All right, it belongs to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So anything that goes on in the earth is our business. Yeah, Ezra said it, uh, said it best. He said, Basically, Lord, did, I, did you know I made the world for our sakes? Sake. So the world belongs to us, man. Yes, the whole planet Earth belongs to the people on this side, man. It was made and created for us, right? And you heathen was made and created for us, for servitude, man. A fucking heathen might want to want to made to walk around, all right, in the, in the Columbia shirt and, 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 and pearl rolls and, and bow shoes on. No, you were made to serve us. This motherfucker. Grapes, bananas, yeah. yeah. apples, bananas. All right. If I wanted to walk on your bed and go get cheese steak, cheesecake from, from, from the burner house, you gotta go do that shit, man. Yeah. Like puppy, you know, puppy business niggas on the big in the bed. Want some Cambodian milk. Yeah, we want some conventional sugar cookies, nigga. All right. So I say, this right here is coming back in style in the kingdom, man. Them niggas gonna tackle each other coming to coming to them. It's uh, Second Esther chapter six and verse fifty-seven. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have been, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world, you want to say something? Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. Like these people that rule over us, they so-called white people, Esau, Edom, and they, they are nothing, man. The cross of our eyes. And that's Ezra. And Ezra is complaining to the Lord. Hey, he's crying to the Lord. Hey, why? You know what that? Hey, who are Edom myself? Verse 59, if the world be now made for our 
Lord saints, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Yeah, how long yeah, we got to deal with the wickedness of this earth, man? Of America. All right? And hey, hey, we all set the rule, man. Hey, we wait to rule, man. And righteousness, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're to learn day by day, man. Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let, uh, let the kingdom <laughs>
actually, I, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, skip down to um, verse 5. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath and continued stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted and none hindering. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth in the singing. The next verse, verse 8. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. That's it. Right, but it, it was meant for Esau, man. It 
It was meant for the nation. You, you are the servants. You are the ones that were really uh, set up to be the, the, the servants of Josh Allen, man. The Bowers. Yeah, the word Bowers means peasant. The so-called Rothschilds, all right? They know who they are. That's why they call themselves Rothschilds. It means red shield. Their original name means peasant. They're the peasants of the earth. The, we're the rich sitting in low place, all right? This is, uh, and they knew it. They know that they got the children of Israel in captivity over here on the shores of America. Where they know that they know that you walking on a green lake. Big hips. Big back. You see back. shit like that. That's why they always get them niggas killed. Because it be the woman. Marking and doing their shit, man. Right? That nigga with a park and just pulled out we all died. Yeah, he the park and pulled out some shit. That joker gun. The yeah. joker, some shit that just never stopped. Coming <laughs> out the out the pants, man. You know she wasn't gonna protect him. Stupid ass women, man. But go ahead, Al. Yeah, this is uh, this is some of the origins of this devil. I'm gonna read fucking Hellmite, man. I'm gonna read some description. You got a Hellmite shirt on, man. Yeah, that's. I wasn't an Israelite. Yeah. Like it's got a whole Canaanite shirt. Go ahead, Al. But yeah, we're, we're gonna go through some of the uh, the early descriptions of this devil, and you ask yourself, is this somebody that should be in rulership? This is the book of Job. Oh, he trying to. Yeah, nigga, I don't know who the teacher he's gonna get, but fuck it. Go ahead. The light. 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 What do you want to do? This is the book of Job, chapter 30. Starting at the top. But now they that are younger than I have me in the region, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. up St. Tammany Parish and put it in Beastie Alley. All the, all the accounts and stories that go on over there, man. Them niggas over there. Them Edom Whites over there. And some of them niggas over there in St. Tammany Parish. Y'all some, y'all some nasty motherfuckers, man. Also, they come out every, every other month. Some Edomite in the board getting down with the hearts, man. The dog. The white woman with the cat. The dog. I'm talking about y'all. Yeah, it's, it's a known fact. That y'all get down like that, man. Okay? Y'all, y'all the top, y'all the top people on what? How to catch a predator. You the top ones when it comes to bestiality, man. That's what you was doing in the, in the mountains, man. You got a dog, you ever seen that? You got a dog, a, a carcasses. A dog, it's a two type of dog come out of the carcasses mountain, man. But that's how you get down. You was, you was, you was well, well versed in that, man. They desire not women. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, Daniel's 11, real quick, Daniel's, Daniel's 11 chapter, man. It's in the 47 verse, tell you that you don't you don't even desire women. He still don't desire no goddamn women, man. You know how Jake, hey, man, a Judah, man, I, I see him at the job. We got one nigga oh, at the yeah. job named Hillman. Oh, man. I had, I had this nigga way up to this building. He'd be up there doing some shit. They have a broad over there. That nigga be cutting. <laughs> 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 yep. They be doing shit like these old, these old tennis fans getting lost about a broad over there walking and jogging and some shit, man. Yeah. Jake love women. You know, all, you know, the curvature of a woman, the, the soft nature, the femininity of a woman. Jake love that shit, man. He saw, we see that. I, I went to uh, Edomite High School. You know how Jake be like this. The boy man, he saw like this. Just walk in on, never look at the woman. Uh, hey, get it, get it right, right, right. We're gonna get it right, real quick. Watch, you'll see. You'll right see. Right in front. You'll see, man. Uh, he trying to avoid it. He trying to avoid looking yeah. at it. Then it be some fucking diving boy looking Edomite. He loses his mind. 
Oh my God! Look at her breasts. <laughs> <laughs> The more she looked like a little boy, the more you get bricked up, man. Got you stacked up. It don't look like shit. You look like a diving board. You look like a fucking fork, man. All right? You know? Even, even, uh, it's a book. It's a book I had a long time ago. And they tell you, it's, it's a guy that came over with the, he came over here with the, he came over to the coast of Africa with the, period, the, the pilgrims. Well, not the, uh, the, war, the, no, the conquistadors. He came over. He came over when they conquered Jake in Africa. He was with them devils. And he, he started talking to a lot of the different tribes over there. And then one, one of the comes and they say, "Man, when them white folk came over here, we noticed our women are curvature, uh, cur had that more curvature, but y'all women are just, just nothing. Like they just spread up and down, you know." Cause you don't, you don't desire women. Anything like the person, anything that looks like a, a ten year old boy, he start getting rocked up, man. Right? They, they got that saying. I heard they, they had that in that movie True Lies when uh, Bill Paxton was talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger's wife. She, he was like, ass like a ten year old boy. Yeah, that scene ruined my childhood. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's what you into, man. You know, you into that type of shit. You into bestiality. Go, go ask them white boys up there. In, in, in Bareback, Alabama, Bareback, Mississippi. Ask them about just, just talk about farm animals. They're gonna bring up the goat. Man, did you know? Do you know, boy? Do you know? <laughs> do you know, man? That the, that the goat got a goddamn box like a woman. How you know that? <laughs> I fuck up, I fuck around a little bit back there. They know, man. In fact, in fact I got the if, when you become when you want to get a record deal, you have to fuck a goat. That's one of their rituals. Because Kanye West said, he said, fuck this Hollywood shit. I don't want nothing to do it anymore. I don't care if they release the tapes of me fucking the goat. They don't, and Richard Pryor said it too. Richard Pryor said that basically it was in 1978 or 1980. He said, he said, they're gonna, he said, hey Richard, they're gonna expose you. He said, you mean they're gonna show that they're gonna show the video of that goat, of me and that goat? So it's 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 a known thing in, yeah. in Hollywood circles that that's what you gotta do. Yeah, you gotta get down with it. Yeah, that works about that. You, you know, I done seen some weird shit even in Texas. You were doing, doing a little work. You go to start eating my house. How the fuck you got three goat heads over your bed, man? You know, all your furniture are black. Black and red. It's weird shit, you know? But that's what them devils into. Right? Those those are, are, are different rituals and shit. These devils are heavily into that shit, man. What's that, uh, that image you showed us with ASAP Broccoli and a bunch yeah. of. Alpha Mets on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, you can pull it up. That's him. He, he caught like this. Caught it, and that, that's at the bottom of, uh, I think, in a, in a, in a scope. Up there in California. I think California. In a scope. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the basement of the Interscope, man. What with, the, with the sign on the floor? Yeah. That's how they get down. That's why I say, y'all know if y'all seen the, the video with uh, Nori. <clears throat> Nori said, hey, man, in this business, there's three doors you gotta you gotta go down. He said, I went straight though. He said, there's there's the there's the straight door, like I'm not fucking with that shit. There's the there's the gay door to the left, and there's the sacrifice door. You don't you don't kill one of your people, man. You were all them niggas. Gilly, Gilly did it. Yes. Gilly did it, man. Alright? He gets the sign deal in that in that state of he he's happy. But he know they gotta do something. You seen it? You seen the video of him signing the contract mm -hmm. with the Wallow? Then then what happened two months later? Then they, they, then they only, I only saw an aerial view of the, the, the so-called crime scene. I never seen a, a aerial view of the crime scene of a, of a well-known celebrity son. They killed the niggas, man. And they always do. All of them have somebody that's closely related to them or artists that didn't grow up getting knocked off, man. Hey, hey, admitted that his mom was a sacrifice. Yeah. Hey, DC Young Fly did it to the, to his woman, man. I never seen a woman go and get a full blown uh procedure done on her body, BBL, where the fuck, and they leave her they leave her in the room by herself after after the procedure. Nobody came with her. He just found her dead in the hotel room. Yeah, they had to go right there, man. And now like you got on like talk to him. He said after he said rocket. That's how they get. This all of them get down. Rihanna, Rihanna did that video with uh, Jay Z. Uh, no, uh, uh, run this town. Yeah, run this oh, town, man. That's the most demonic shit you ever see. 
No? Oh, yeah. You got still got guys chasing, chasing after that, after that lifestyle, man. When it's, when it's full blown out there. What, what, that, what, what sexy, sexy red just came out of here? Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. a part of that. I went to the Mason Lodge, man. All right? Hey, what a sign at? What a, uh, what a sign, what a sign at, man. This is how they get down, though, man. We don't, we don't, we ain't making nothing up. All right? Jennifer Hudson did it too to her whole family, her mom and her yeah. whole family. So the yeah. different levels of sacrifice you do, the different levels of fame you attain. Yeah, you can't you, you can't operate in this society on a hundred million, twenty million dollar, uh, dollar uh, frame and not and not do something. Yeah, you gotta rock, get down. The Rock did it to his mom yeah. and his dad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what his name? Michael Joy. Michael Joy killed his father, man. Right? Yeah, come on, man. I do with Dwayne Johnson. He went on Saturday Night Live and did a skit about pedophile robots, man. Robots, robots raping children. There was nothing funny about the skit at all. It was just weird, creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the Aquaman dude did it too. Yeah, Aquaman, the dude Aquaman. Yeah, he always touching on the little girls. Freaks, man. But that's how they get down. And now it's coming out about uh, P. Diddy, man. This nigga is a full blown freak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, you seen that? You seen the, that? From the woods, I uh, got a man that came out and said Diddy did him something, man. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Hall. He was not a freak too, man. But he said the dude said when Diddy did him something, the number it was blood, blood everywhere, man. All right? You know. Lord. Yeah, but that's how they get down. Right, Eddie Long? He's all in the church, man. Yeah. Then he's coming in here. Another girl got, got proof that T. T. Uh, what's his name? T. D. Jakes and, and Diddy had a relationship. He got another video. He, he, he got, Diddy got his head from T. D. Jakes' that. bosom. Yeah. Right? Ha! Ah! His goddamn chest, man. These niggas get down, man. Satan right there. Where? Satan looked just like T.D. Jakes. Yeah. That's how he looked. Yeah. This, uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 27, starting at the top. Many have sinned for a small matter, and he that seeketh for abundance will turn his eyes away. Yeah. Yeah. Man, man, this is many, shit, man. many of these uh, Jake celebrities have sinned for hey, uh, doing these uh, wicked things, wicked yeah, sacrifices. And look at Diddy, y'all see him? He got he got the Jessica Pisces up, man. Yeah. Steeple hand, you see him, huh? Yeah. Why would you take a picture like this on the side of somebody with your hands like that, man? Look, and them niggas had a relationship, man. They was freaking. Oh, no. I bet it smelled like burnt rubber from a track hawk in that picture. <laughs> them niggas, man, them niggas getting down. <laughs> For real. You gonna take other niggas off shopping. Yeah, that's... You know? But that's how they get down. He said that nigga, that nigga fabulous was like, he always kept trying to take me shopping. And then 50 Cent was like, oh, yeah, did the same thing to me. Yes. This nigga tr- tricking on men. Man. Hey, was like, yeah, y'all seen the other, sh- the other show that was on? Fab was like this. Hey, Fab. Hey, Fab. Hey, yo, why, why, why are we having party together, man? He's like, man, we did party together. He's like, we never party with me, though. Well, you ain't never party with me, though. <laughs> and we did. Like he, you could say he didn't want to fuck with him. You had Jada Kiss over there, yeah. swinging the chair, turning his back to the chair. <laughs> like, why, man? They all know he freaked out. He had what's his, what's his, what's his name too? Uh, what that little white boy name is? Justin B. Justin oh, he, B. he told he told Justin B. was he he ruined to the tutor, man. No glue to him, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> glue gone. They got a video of Justin Bieber uh-huh. giving uh, yeah. OBJ's head. Yeah. Trey Songz recorded a video of us yeah, Justin Bieber. Yeah, I seen him. Yeah, I seen him. Yeah, OBJ, he a freak too, man. Come on, uh, Odell Beckham. Oh, oh, oh. No, they all oh, freaks, man. Here. Oh, he freaked out. He got a freak spirit on him. Yeah, my mind can't be towards him, bro. He really like him like Dwight Howard and just I don't party like beholding him, brother. Yeah, man. That's how they all get down. Like you got to, you got to do. You gotta get down with the program in order to be rich in this society, man. It's a it's a known fact. 
right? Because a lot of them, I didn't see on another uh, talk show. Have you been visiting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been visiting before. Whatever they do, they come to you, man. You start look at look at uh, uh, Wallow and, 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 and Gilly. They, they honestly were trying to make a little money through um, blogging. Podcasting. And, and podcasting. Then what happened when their podcast starts going off the ground? They got visited, man. They talked about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're playing stupid, too. Yeah, they talked about it. Them Jesuits, them Rosicrucians. All right, they coming, man. They coming with a goddamn briefcase, too. Just like they, just like they visited a lot of these goddamn camps, man. That's right. How you want to see being one? All right. They just got visited, man. You gonna get down the program, man. You know you don't get hundred million, two hundred million dollars rich. You just you just gonna be Scott goddamn free. You gonna get down the program, just like it, just like we said before. Even in the military, you you want to get down the program, you gotta become a mason. You wanna you wanna be a cop with assets and benefits, you gotta get down to be a mason. Man. So a lot of these white boys, they are they they in, uh. The Scottish White, the Yorkshire, they ain't they, 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 they too with it, man. Go ahead, Doc. You got it, though. It's a well known fact, man. Sirach 27, verse 1. Many have sinned for a small matter, and he that seeketh for abundance will turn his eyes away. Yeah, that's these, uh, these drink celebrities, man. So they have sinned, so they sacrifice uh, their soul. You know what I'm saying? So commit a. Uh, just sacrifice themselves for wickedness, play for a small man, play uh, for that fame and fortune, man. All right? They say, by them doing that, they turn their eyes away from the like, hey, right righteous thing. You know, hey, that's okay. Get that one in Deuteronomy. Uh, we're talking about uh, uh, give turning the blind eye. And, and, you know, that's what it does, man. Because you know, all you got to do is give a nigga a contract, a, a sports contract, because they really get it exploded. You know, you get freaked out. You know, these guys, it's a lot of shit to be LeBron James, man. You know, you got, you got Zeta Reds walking them down the aisle with the opposite niggas got this hand over oh, here yeah, and walking them like a little child, man. Crazy. And the nigga can't say nothing. Can't do nothing, man. Nothing. Terry Crews. Yeah, Terry Crews, he got, he got freaked on. Oh, yeah, it touched, it touched my package. They touched my butt, did all this. And you got all them goddamn muscles on top of muscles. You got muscles all in the back of your fucking head, nigga. And you can't do nothing. I done knocked one of them niggas out out there, man. You know? Man, I don't want this Hollywood shit. I done sit down and put a nigga feet down, man. Right on the dance floor. He got put out. No, this nigga got touched on by some executive thing and couldn't say shit. And they are these parties, man. They got the parties, man. What you think them niggas doing them niggas in Atlanta do? Them niggas going to them, 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 them basement parties. Uh, Jamie Foxx talk about it all the time. He talk about Puppy. Puppy trying to kill his ass. Why he was in the hospital, man. Niggas said they got a, they got a, they got a parties where there's a party going on upstairs. And you go downstairs, you see the party. Eddie Griffin said he went to one of them parties. He said, we go down, we go past the door. He said, this nigga bent over like he getting a goddamn penny. They get, they get, they get coins for this. If you understand my drift, man. All right? <laughs> nigga putting coins in that slot. All right? Is that what goes on? Wait, up. Uh, I got that, uh, precept you just called it. Oh, hey, get this. Hold my phone. Get, uh, what's that bitch name? Look at this thing, man. You know, the girl on girl, man. It's not Amy Winehouse. It's another bitch. I think Lady Gaga party with you gonna see you gonna see a Marina problem there. No, 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 no. It's, it's, with the with the body and the thing. Yeah. How to get down, man? What? Um, 
finish in uh, Sirach 27, verse 2. As a nail sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones, so does sin stick close between buying and selling. Yeah. So, hey, um, basically, we always bring the scripture out. Yeah, this, you know, dealing with, um, dealing look, show that angle. Show that angle, too. This is how these devils get down, though, man. At these bodies and shit. That's not a dead body, is it? Or is that like somebody it's reap, that it's gets... Reap. Ain't nobody gonna sit there and lay down in, in some blood all day That's and keep still. Yeah, one of them said it was somebody saying it's a bottle. Fuck out of here, man. But no, this, this look at the nature of the party. Like, what, what the fuck are you probably here? We're having, to, we're having to put on some, we're having to put it on some goddamn bacon ass up, eat some chips and some sandwiches, and we're talking about our business. Why we have to sit here and do this, man? Jay Z with that uh, that witch of Rena Brown up there. Yeah, I see, I seen B Jizzle with her. Oh, Look at yeah. his face. Just I see, up. I just when that nigga got out of jail, the, the bitch came to the nigga party, or came to pick him up. Then he got him walking down the goddamn mall with two dogs. What the bitch? That's, that's, that bitch a witch, man. Why is she with B Jizzle? Yeah. 
It should have been a, it should have been an uproar with you niggas, man. Come on, man. You niggas, you niggas should have went smooth, nutty, buddy, crazy behind that shit, man. But that's black culture. Y'all don't y'all don't say nothing about nothing. Y'all don't y'all don't y'all don't confront wickedness at all, man. You really embrace it. You know. They had a baby. He was getting hug sandwiches. Yeah, hug, he getting hug sandwiches, sandwiches man. <laughs> Yeah, bring it up, bring it up. This uh, Deuteronomy 16 and 19. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Neither <coughs> take. Bring up the scripture. Just say the scripture. Yeah. Oh, so like, like, yeah. Deuteronomy uh, 16 and 19. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Neither take a gift for a gift.
Isaiah chapter 20, I mean, like Isaiah 28 and 14, wherefore hear the word of the Lord, he scorned, just he scornful men that rule this people, which is in Jerusalem, because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell, we are at agreement. When the overflowing store shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuse, and under falsehood we have hid ourselves. Basically, yeah, what I was saying, basically, when they made that covenant, when they made that sacrifice, you know, to, to get that fame and fortune and all that, they made them. Yeah, they thought they were good for life. You know what I'm saying? They thought, oh, now they good, now they, they will uh, they will uh, be washed out. The ultimate, okay. the ultimate is, is the fucking contracts, man. Right? Because the law, if you go back into the law, what did the, the one thing that the Lord told us not to do with the heathen? Don't make no contracts with them, man. No agreements. Right? So, you as an Israelite, what the fuck are you doing in the Hollywood, Hollywood world, man? You're going to get used and abused. Especially you women. The women in Hollywood get used and abused. Look at Doja Cat. She went from being a sensible woman to now they got video of her. Two days ago on the ground is possessed with demons, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Look at all of uh Katy Perry, all of them got you got the they just, they just get ran through. Right? Oh, Cassie ran through, no for real. She got ran through, man. They said, said this nigga did he send me video of multiple men, all right, penetrating Cassie. He like, bro, why the fuck you see me this shit? I'm like, what the fuck we doing? But that's what goes on, man. That's what goes on with this shit, man. All right, these people here in that world are a bunch of, a bunch of wild people, man. And that's what goes on. Accept it, Jake. You're never gonna, you're never gonna, if you wanna be in that world, just accept this how it goes, man. Oh no, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be low key. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an indie artist. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a, a low budget uh, sports football player. No, man, you gotta get down, man. And it's all initiations. If you're not, if you're not bringing in souls, constantly bringing in souls, you gotta get down. Somebody gonna get clipped. What's going on? Man? What's going on? Man? She about to ask some, some dumb ass question. Go ahead, though, bro. If I could make a point, that came out with a movie. One of the movies that flew under the radar called Starry Eyes. And it's about this chick who's trying to become an actress and she's working at like a little Hooters place, but then she gets an invite to an exec's house. And first she blows him, and then you know the next step is you know have sex with him and deal with his friends. And then the next step before she becomes a full actress is to kill all her roommates. And the movie ends with them putting the demon on her. And then she she look she looks like a demon first with teeth and all black eyes, but then she morphs back to normal, and then that's when she starts to become an actress, and that's when the movie ends. Yeah, I'm gonna say another thing. Like that guy uh, Paul Walker. Go look up, go check out Paul Walker's first movie. It was a movie about him getting into a secret society with some little boys. Some little boys. And guess what? The same way he actually died in a red Porsche is the same way he died in, in, in that movie. I think that was Paul Scoville. Yeah, I think it was called Scarlet Bones, man. No? Hey, even um, what, what's my man? The Black Mama. It was already predicted way before the Black Mama died in the, in the, in the helicopter crash that he was gonna die that way in a purple helicopter. Now it was it was too. It was it was it was a Nike commercial. And there was another low budget cartoon that was coming on TV that predicted him to die in the, in, the, in the helicopter crash. I can't. I, I, I ain't never seen that cartoon before, but it, it's already even even on The Simpsons with uh Prince. Nigga died in the hotel. I mean, in an elevator, man. All right? Rick and Morty too. Yeah. You got something? Okay. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's how it's how these devils go down. Like I say, it's called it's called Black Magic. All right? And this is a part of that world, man. A lot of them sick niggas know they gotta, they gotta, they gotta go through with it, man. You know? Stop the violence! That's what it's giving me. It's like an elbow in the face. Yeah, that's it right there. 
That's how he went down, man. And these devils know it. Bubble ball. 